Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. We are here today at the Dusseldorf Boat Show with Serena Yachts to have a look at the Serena 48. Slightly odd because it's a bit busy, so we are having to dodge our way around it, but we're starting on this high-low bathing platform that obviously runs the full beam of the boat, which gives you tons of space. So you can put your tender on here if you want to, high-low uh, bathing platform. In here currently is storage on this boat, but it is an option if you want to, to convert that storage into effectively a small single crew cabin. They haven't done that on this boat here. The other thing you'll notice if we stand on the back of the bathing platform is big glass balustrades at the back here. So that makes it really open and you're not having any obstructed view. Letterbox passerelle down there and beautiful stainless fair leads, cleats and winches. And even a little locker here look, to put your rope tails in. That leads you straight into the cockpit's dining area with all freestanding seating all the way around. So you can choose this furniture the way you want it. And you'll also notice that that table slides backwards and forwards and it also folds out to give you bigger dining space. But it's just so nice that you can actually look out over the bathing platform whilst you're dining. We will take a turn around the decks, I think, first. Storage down there. Exactly the same format on this side and both sides also have a side gate through the bulwarks but really nice wide open side decks. Cut away to match the window so it doesn't obscure your view when you're inside and we will just take a run forwards here. Up here let these gentlemen pass, thank you. And go all the way forward where there's a little seat, a little companion seat if you like where you can watch yourself as you're going along all the deck handling gear here and anchor locker down here. Now I say anchor locker, this is effectively almost another cabin. I don't know how well you can see, but it's a ladder and it runs all the way down there. So you could put a bit of extra storage in there if you want. There is quite a, a decent lazarette, but again, due to boat show, we're not allowed to have a look. So a little seat there, big four deck lounging area there very purposeful moulded semi-circular windscreen, lovely pop-up lights, but we will run down the side deck, keeping out of everybody's way, and see if we can have a peek inside, here we go. So we'll have a quick look at the galley while everybody's upstairs and downstairs, lovely working galley. Nice as well that it opens up through those large sliding patio doors to the aft deck. Domestic size fridge and freezer in there. And then very stylish run of storage in the sideboard there. And you can see those big side windows and how if you step up here, the cutaway of the bulwark gives you really good visibility out that massive single window. High-low dining table here with C-shaped seating. And then on the other side is a pop-up TV. That takes us forward to the helm station. Big bench seat and again really good to see side access out to the side decks. And this is your dashboard. Now there are a number of engine options on this, or there's a couple of engine options I should say, depending on what you fancy. Standard engines are Cummings QSB 480s and there's an upgrade option if you want to go to the Volvo Penta D8 550s. And depending on the engine option you go for, you're going to get between 23 and 26 knots. So while we're here, Mercedes-Benz inspired air vents, engine controllers, joystick controller for the bow and stern thruster, and we've also got the Cummings, I think it's a Zeus system, so it's basically joystick control and a couple of Garmin screens. Just an incredible view forward through that windscreen. Right the way down the side, and again, because of that balustrading at the back, the glass balustrades at the back, you can see right the way onto the pontoon behind you. Distribution panel down here. That leads us down into the cabins. Lovely lobby area here. We'll take a couple of steps forward into the VIP, which is beautiful. Actually, you can't feel this, but this carpet is really thick and really comfy. Again, bags of headroom. So I'm one meter seven and there's good 18 inches above me there. Nice hull windows, bags of storage. And the cupboards there. 
more storage down the side there really really serene cabin a bit more storage behind the door there and then you've got the VIP shared heads here so conventional loo just some of the detailing is really nice the way they've got wood filling in by the porthole storage behind the mirrored vanity units basin and very stylish molded Corian seat there for the shower and then Jack and Jill door here so this door here if you want to go out of it takes you into the companion way because it's then shared with the cabin here so that's got a couple of twi single berths in it I would like to think that there's an infill you could put in there to make that a double again gaining light through the hull windows and with decent storage so we'll take a turn back into the lobby you can now see that Jack and Jill door into the loo two steps down takes us in to the laundry area if you like for washer dryer this door here effectively closes off the master cabin as you step into the master cabin you can see that beautiful floating bed just off to the right here we have a similar format with a moldy corian seat in the shower self-contained and an equally stylish sink and loo in there and a row of storage behind the mirror one more step down takes you to the master lovely shades long on there and then you're benefiting again from those vast hull windows lovely pet someone's coming in so we will just head out of here that's the honor sorry for interrupting no it's fine i'll edit it out okay. oh, sorry. thank you for letting me look around thank you absolutely so back out of here back past the washing machine back into the lobby area and then back up these beautiful stairs we will see if we can dive up onto the flybridge now quickly take a turn around here back through the oh no we'll wait here for a minute <laughs> we are going to be a bit cheeky and we're going to follow these gentlemen up here simply because we are slightly short of time and they look like they're very nice gentlemen so while they go forward we'll go aft the first thing you'll notice is this beautifully single supported flybridge support there are lighter mullions on the side here you can see the same thing over there but it does make this whole area seem very very open beautiful array of seating with some lovely stainless feet for the tables those tables will already fold into the centre so you can dine the whole way around here. And then behind us, or forward of the dining area, you have a ice maker and a fridge. And then under here is a moulded sink and a Kenyan barbecue grill. <laughs> Everyone loves a Kenyan grill, don't they? Thank you, gents. So we will squeeze past them here to this pretty decent sun lounging area forward of the helm station imagine sitting there as you're going along quite nice as well it's slightly sunken so it's fairly well shaded as the wind's coming over the foredeck helm station over here and again pretty much a mirror image of what we saw downstairs and again the controllers will depend on your choice of engines as to whether you go for Cummings or Volvo Penta DA engines so there you go we will ask you to like and subscribe thank you very much for watching yeah. and say a sincere thanks to the girls and guys at Serena Yachts for letting us have a look around the tour and if you like what you've seen please follow the links and watch all the other videos on the channel see you next time round